OSHA seeks an $83,000 fine of a skilled nursing facility for allegedly failing to protect staff from coronavirus, and a long-term care provider uses immigrant program to overcome chronic staffing shortages. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member today. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. An Illinois skilled nursing facility could be hit with a nearly $84,000 in penalties for allegedly failing to protect employees and other staff from COVID-19. OSHA on Thursday proposed that the West Suburban Nursing and Rehabilitation Center in Bloomingdale, Illinois, pay $83,675 in fines after the agency found one repeat and five serious health violations during a recent visit. The facility can appeal the recommended penalty proposed by OSHA. The facility required employees to wear N95 filtering masks when entering quarantine areas and caring for residents with suspected COVID-19, but it failed to ensure the personal protective equipment fit or was used properly by staff, according to OSHA. The agency said West Suburban also failed to implement a hazard assessment process to evaluate for potential coronavirus exposure, track vaccination status of employees, erect barrier and control procedures to maintain six feet of dis distancing between employees and entry points and nursing stations, and control access to the quarantine zone by staff and patients. Quote, after more than a year of fighting this pandemic, employers should know the procedures to minimize workers' risk of exposure and take every precaution, Jake Scott, Naperville, Illinois, OSHA area director said in a statement. Instead of waiting for solutions from state and federal health officials, a Chicago long-term care provider has taken its staffing shortage crisis into its own hands by reaching overseas for help. Chicago Methodist Senior Services, which offers skilled nursing, assisted living, memory care, and home care programs, developed the United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Program in 2005 to help it recruit nurses from the Philippines. The program has already paid off in recent months, supplying hundreds of licensed nurses when many operators across the country are struggling. The provider has recruited more than 300 licensed nurses through the program's pipeline since implementation. Quote, we are a small organization. We want to defend ourselves against the nursing shortage below, the provider's president and CEO said last week. He added, the nice thing about the registered nurses from the Philippines is that they train them well. They're BSNs when they arrive here. Hopefully, that will be one of the solutions our government comes up with. The federal government has reduced the number of workers and slowed down final interviews for candidates coming from the Philippines due to the pandemic, but the company expects to have another 100 nurses after the health restrictions end, according to Lowe. He added that if he could, he would also like to use the program to recruit immigrant certified nursing assistants as well. The operator feels like the company is well calibrated if the U.S. government ever throws up its hands and says we're going to need immigrants to help tackle this problem. Theoretically, those frontline workers could come from anywhere in the world. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.